Hi, my name is Drew Erskine, and today I will be doing a presentation on the Japanese koto. The Japanese koto is a traditional instrument um, used in Japan. Um, the Japanese koto is used today in a lot of media and social enjoyment, along with uh, traditional gatherings and environmental settings in Japan. The presentation will follow um, the structure. First, we'll talk about the history of the koto. Then we'll go into the appearance and styles of the koto. Then we will take a listen to a modern day koto recording. So for the history of the koto, um, the koto was brought to Japan by the Chinese in around 700. The first use of the instrument was um, used in the Gaiaku, a um, musical performance for the imperial court. In the Edo period, um, Sayaku, a uh, form of solo um, independent court, uh, koto music um, followed with vocal singing, became popular. And this was because um, Yakushashi Kenjo um, introduced it to the public. Um, he is known as the father of modern koto music, not just because he invented shayuku, but um, he was the first musician to introduce and teach um, the koto to a general audience and the population. Um, he was a professional um, imperial ko court koto player and he um, he had the idea that the koto would help young women become better wives. For the history of the koto, um, there are three traditional koto um, compositions or structures. The first would be danamono, which is a multiple sectioned um, uh, composition, and each section is referred to as a den, and each den. Uh, acquires 104 beats to complete its uh, cycle. Since these um, dens share the same amount of beats, um, each den can be played simultaneously, and when this happens, it is known as a den awase. Um, for the next uh, type of traditional koto compositions, we have the kumita, and these are basically traditional songs and pieces used in the gaiaku. Um, the third type of traditional koto composition would be the tegamoto mano. Um, this is a vocal section followed by a instrumental section from the koto followed and wrapped up by a vocal section. These vocal sections can be um, any vocal communication but primarily just poetry and sung um, songs. For the appearance and styles of the traditional koto, the physical description is the koto has two pieces, a hollowed out top piece and a flat bottom. The top piece can have designs and grooves underneath the board to um, have a better tone quality. Um, the standard koto, or in the traditional koto, uses 13 strings. Strings may vary, um, or modern day, but traditionally it was 13 strings. The strings were made of, made of silk. Um, today they use a, thin, thin, uh, a synthetic material for the strings because each string is tightly strung and silk has the tendency to break. Each string has the same thickness and they are all the same. Um, for them to reach to the tone of the string or the tone of the sound the string makes is by used, using a movable bridge underneath the string as you can see in the picture. Um, these can be adjusted to reach any open string tone. Um, playing the koto, uh, you use a pluck with your left hand. The plucks are called uh, plectras, and there are two types of these plectras. The first would be a kuta, um, which is a square uh, pick 
These picks are used for beginners because it's easier to reach a fuller sound with these picks and make more contact with the string. Um, the second type is the Yamada, which are rounded plucks, usually the shape of a fingernail. Um, these plucks are used by more advanced players because you can, um, they have less friction upon the string and can uh, make faster movements. Um, each pluck is usually strapped or wrapped around the thumb and index finger with tape or any um, form of uh, wrapping. For modern types of kodos, um, there are three types of modern kodos. The geaksu, which is the traditional um, kodo we learned in the last slide. The chiaksu, which is um, an invention from Buddhist monks. Um, it was primarily used for blind Buddhist monks, and it was made for the purpose of the Taiyakigato tradition, which is a performance used to lighten the soul and relieve tension. Um, this type has been phased out because it was primarily made for uh, the blind, and um, it's just been less um, adhesive because um, it was structured towards the blind. The, um, these, the only difference between these kodos are um, they have um, designs on the top of the board to find the right pitch um, with feel. The third type of uh, kodo would be the sokioso, which is a shorter board and with more strings. These were made for everyday performance and more of a household item because the shorter size. And these kodos are the only ones that use the traditional scales E, F, A, B, and D for the open strings. And here we will have a musical example of the kodo. This musical example is actually a intro of a sitcom or TV show over in Japan. So let's have a listen. With that piece, you could see the dens in action. Right at the end was the starting of the second den, and the beginning of the clip was a start of a first den. Um, Koto music is used a lot in Japanese uh, media, um, with TV shows and movies, along with um, dining performances in traditional restaurants and social gathering events. Um, I hope you enjoyed my presentation on the Japanese Kodo and hope you left with more information than you came in with.